So I'm now a little more than halfway through my first year of medical school. I've taken classes like biochemistry and anatomy. I've started research projects and met some pretty dope doctors. Just all the stuff that you'd expect to do in medical school as a pre-med student. Well, there's also some things that I didn't expect. And I'm not just talking about starting medical school during a pandemic, because that's a video on its own. There are things in medical school that are just normal medical school things. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you the expectations that I had that were accurate, as well as the ones that were a little bit off. What's up YouTube? If you're new here, my name is JR Smith. I'm a first year medical student at the Mayo Clinic and I make videos where I share tips, strategies, and resources for pre-meds and medical students. So if any of that interests you, go ahead and tap that subscribe button. So there were three main expectations that I had coming into medical school. The first, and I know that I'm not alone in this one, was that medical school was going to be the most challenging form of education that I would ever experience, right? I mean, come on guys, like we're in medical school, we're learning to be doctors, it just by definition has to be harder than anything I've ever learned in school so far. Well, I would actually come to find out that this is not actually the case. But before you guys attack me in the comments, just let me explain. Medical school is definitely still no cakewalk. If you've seen any of my vlogs or follow me on Instagram, you know I spend a ton of my time working. Like waking up sometimes before 5 a.m. on a consistent basis throughout the entire week. That sounds like something has to be hard, but remember my expectation was that the material that I would be learning would be this just super incomprehensible material. You know, it's that type of material where you spend 30 minutes staring at it and you still have no idea what's going on. That type of material that makes you wanna scream into your pillow and cuss out your textbook. Was this, was this only my, my pre-med experience? Well, I would come to find out that medical school is less about just hard to comprehend material and more so just about a lot of material. You know how a lot of math and physics is just a lot of comprehending these abstract principles that for the most part don't make much sense? Well, a lot of the material that you actually learn in medical school isn't too difficult to comprehend for the most part. Of course, this is not the case for everything, but I have noticed that instead, the challenge is more so the amount of material that we have to learn. Now, for me, this came as a pleasant surprise because success was less dependent on being able to comprehend these abstract principles or what you may think of just natural intelligence and was more so reliant on things like work ethic or diligence. And since it's more about learning a ton of material, success became dependent on consistency. Having the determination to review material on a daily basis. It's about being willing to approach school like it was a job, knowing if you clock in and out on a consistent basis, you're going to learn the material. Either way, medical school will either establish or cultivate skills like diligence and consistency. Now, the second expectation that I had was that everybody was going to be absolute geniuses. Again, we're in med school, training to be doctors, right? And this expectation was spot on. Now, unfortunately, this undeniable fact causes a lot of students to experience that dreaded imposter syndrome. But you can actually avoid this imposter syndrome by reframing the way that you think about this expectation. It's fair to assume that these people are geniuses. I mean, we think that the material is so hard because the people learning it are so smart. But being incredibly smart doesn't mean that you're a genius in everything, and believing this false idea is at the root of imposter syndrome. For example, if one course that you take is more challenging than another, just simply based on your previous experience with that material, or lack thereof, you may look at the people who are crushing it and assume that they, as well as everyone else around you, are just on a different level. Everyone is going to have specific areas that they excel in, whether it's because of their previous exposure to that material or just because of their personal interests. And we actually want people to be super geniuses in in specific fields. And that's why medicine has specialties and even subspecialties. And you'll actually start to see this unfolding in medical school. So yes, everyone around you is an absolute genius, so expect this to be true. But if you adjust your thinking on this, you'll actually be able to encourage people's genius and not let it make you forget your own. Now the final expectation that I had was that I would have absolutely zero time to do anything outside of medical school. And I think the fact that I'm making this video serves as an example that this is not the case. Yes, medical school is a ton of work like we talked about earlier, but it does not, nor should it in my opinion, completely dominate your life. Most schools are pass fail or at least trending in that direction and now even step one is pass fail. This reduces a lot of stress associated with class and actually allows us to mature past our toxic pre-med tendencies. Yes, school is and should be a top priority. And again, yes, it requires a lot of time, but whether you pursue clubs, research, or a YouTube channel, 
it is possible and actually beneficial to pursue interests outside of class. I've been able to manage this YouTube channel, my own research interests, and even start a podcast all while being in medical school. Now, this does not mean stretch yourself too thin because I do have a tendency to do that sometimes, but I just hope that it goes to show that you can still have a life when you are in medical school. And nowadays, there are so many tools out there that actually help with study efficiency, thus opening up time for you to pursue the other interests that you have. Spaced repetition tools like Anki and video resources like Boards and Beyond, these things actually make studying easier and more efficient and open up more free time for you to do things that actually fill your cup, thus reinvigorating you to continue working hard in your medical school related tasks. And this brings me to another amazing resource that I believe all medical students as well as pre-med students should check out. And that is Lecturio, who I am proud to say is sponsoring this video. Lecturio is a study resource that has an extensive video library covering basically every single topic that you're gonna be learning in medical school. They also have a similarly extensive question bank for you to use as you prepare for your course exams or for your big board licensing exams. But one tool that they recently created is something that I absolutely love. It is a medical school survival guide. This is a free, let me say that again, a free ebook that basically walks you through important principles to keep in mind from your pre-med years all the way to your fourth year of medical school so that you can know exactly what to expect every step of the way so that you can be most prepared. Now it's iPad time because I got to show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is what the ebook looks like. You can see it just says medical school survival guide. But what I want to show you guys, you'll see here in the table of contents, they actually have sections for your pre-med years, first year, second year, third year, fourth year, and even a section for international medical students. So I'm just gonna give you guys a brief, quick overview on just how incredible this ebook is. So if we're, if we're pre-meds, we can go down here. I actually love this picture. One does not simply get into medical school. Again, pre-meds, we have some keys coming up. And you can see that they have tips for things like painting a desirable portrait of yourself, including things like strategies, goals, things related to acing the MCAT, how to actually tout your medical experience, all of these things that pre-meds should be considering when they're applying for medical school. They have specific strategies, specific tips related for pre-meds. Now, if we continue to go through, you can see that we get to the first year of medical school. So if I scroll down, you can see, again, a ton of helpful tips specific to first year medical students how to be a successful learner. Again, these are things that first year medical students have to learn. It's a steep learning curve to learn how you learn. I say this in all of my videos. You can actually come in before your first year of medical school starts. You can get a head start on knowing what to expect in terms of learning how to learn. And they walk you through key strategies, key goals to have for yourself, key tips, so that you can actually be a successful learner. And again, it continues to separate specific strategies for whatever area you are in in medical school. If you're a first year, second year, third year, fourth year, etc. So this is just an incredible resource that Lecturio has outside of the amazing video library, question banks. This is just an amazing tool and it's free guys. So you can see they have things like developing skills and habits that support effective studying, learning how to speed read. This is a talent that I am actually currently practicing. Enhancing memory recall. Don't worry, there's an Anki video coming up soon. And so on. But you guys can clearly see how beneficial this resource is. I'll make sure that I leave a link to this resource in the description below, as well as a link if you wanted to get the full access to either a three month or the 12 month subscription, you can use the link in the description below or type in Evolving Medic 30 for a 30% discount on everything that Luxurio has to offer. And I can assure you that the videos and the question banks are just as beneficial as this resource is. But with that, I hope that you all enjoyed this video for my pre-meds out there. I hope this can help make some of your expectations about medical school maybe a little more accurate than mine. For my med students out there, let me know in the comments below if you had any expectations that were either right or maybe a little off when you started medical school. I really appreciate the community that we're building and I'm so grateful for all the support that I've received so far. Again, if you've liked this video, make sure that you smash that like button. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing and tapping that bell. New videos every week. You guys aren't going to want to miss one. But of course, until the next one, keep evolving and I'll see you guys soon.